What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? And today I'm showing you guys how to install your GTA 5 LSPDFR for the first time and a bunch of other couple of mods. So this can be the only video you guys need to watch to get your LSPDFR up and running. And then I'll only need to link maybe one or two videos down in the description below that you guys need to follow, and your LSPDFR will be entirely done. And then you are free to add in all the plugins and everything that you want. But by the end of this video, you'll have a fully functioning LSPDFR that is equally as good as all the YouTubers and the friends out there. So the first thing you guys are going to want to do is go to your GTA 5 file directory. So I know a lot of you guys will not have a clue in the world where this is. But luckily for you, I do. So those of you guys on Epic Games and Rockstar Games, your GTA 5 main directory. Unfortunately, I don't have any of those versions but do not worry, your GTA 5 main directories are down in the description below. Right at the top, there'll be a list on how to get to your GTA 5 main directory. So there'll be like, if you guys were to follow this one now, I'll show you further through. But if you guys to go to temp, for instance, in my folders, it'll be like this. So where it says this PC, tank, and TMP, you guys would literally just follow that in your directory to get and follow the epic games and rockstar games ones but for those of you guys on steam i'm going to show you guys how to get to that right now so go to the where the place and the driver in so gta 5 don't know what it is just try them both normally wherever you have your program files 86 go into your program files 86 go down to steam go to steam apps and common choose the gta 5 folder inside of here this is what it will look like barely anything at all just a couple of folders and things like that Looks pretty big, but after you monitor GTA 5, this will look absolutely tiny to you. But what you guys are going to want to do, I know this might be annoying, I know this might not be something you want to do, but trust me, you 100% need to do this. Because if you ever want to play normal GTA 5 again, and if your modded version messes up, you're going to have to reinstall GTA 5 on the internet again through Steam. And basically, whenever you copy a GTA 5 file, you're not actually downloading it like you would be to download it on Steam. Because download it on Steam is downloading it off your internet, off the Steam servers. But if you're downloading it from your PC, you're just copying and pasting the file. So that's based off your drive speeds. So it's a lot, lot faster. So I'd 100% recommend making two copies so that if you did go wrong on one of the copies, you can always go back to your other copy, copy and paste it, and do the exact same thing in this video again. And this is also so you can play GTA 5 online and maybe some normal GTA 5 story mode, although you can switch between normal GTA 5 story mode and modded story mode in modded GTA 5 LSPDFR, so do not worry about that. But to make a copy, all you guys are going to want to do is simple as click your GTA 5 copy, right click it, and then literally just click copy, and then go back down to the bottom here and just click paste. And then there you guys go, it will start transferring your GTA 5 files and making a second copy of your GTA 5. And then there is one more folder we're going to have to make and copy over. And other than that, we are then on to installing the main LSPDFR. So I'm not going to make you guys wait, I'm going to cut back to once this is finished installing. And then we'll carry on with installing the last folder we need to copy and paste over. And then we will, of course, finish off installing the rest of all the exciting GTA 5 mods. But... What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut back to when is this finished installing. So after your GTA 5 has copied over and everything is ready to go, what you guys are going to want to do is go into your GTA 5 copy and quickly just right click over here and click new folder and then mods. So this is where we're going to be installing every one of our mods. 100% recommend making this. This is a no doubt always make this. Never install to your original GTA 5 copies. So if something does go wrong in your mods folder, you can just grab them from your clean GTA 5 as it will not replace them in the non mods folder side of this GTA 5 copy. So once you've done that, of course we are going to have to put a couple of things in it, which is the second part of copy and pasting some files. So what you guys are going to want to do is just control and click and select X64 and update, right click on them and copy, go inside your mods folder and simply just right click and paste. And then what I'll do is I'll cut back once it's finished installing. This won't be near as long. I did do a couple of things, so if you guys check the time, it probably was a, a long time since I uh, last continued on this video. But what I'll do is I'll cut back to when this is finished downloading, and then we'll get on and actually get inside the game and show you guys how everything works. Okay, so after that is finished copying over, the first thing you guys want to do is click the first download link down in the description below. That's going to bring you guys right here to the first mod that we're going to need, and this is your basic LSPD or LSPDFR first response, or well, basically just LSPDFR because that's what it stands for in short term. So what you guys are going to want to do is head down here and click download this file, and then you can read through these agreements, you can agree it, 
and then what you guys are going to want to do is make sure you're installing the manual install zip. You might think, why not install the automatic setup.exe? Basically, that's not what you think it is, and it'll also ruin your game. So what we're going to do is we're going to always install the manual install.zip, because trust me, it's a lot, lot easier installing it this way. So once that is done, what you guys are going to want to do is open up the LSPDFR folder once it is finished downloading. It's only about 76.4 megabyte download. And once that is finished, open it on up. And then it should, once it finishes open up, there you go, that took an awful long time. You should have and be greeted with a couple of files and a couple of folders. So to install this, bring back up your GTA 5 main directory if you're not sure what it is. For Steam users, it is your drive, program files 86, Steam, Steam apps, common, and GTA 5. And for those of you guys on Rockstar Games, Epic Games, of course, yet again, it is down in the description below. But for the rest of you guys, what you guys are going to want to do is make sure you have a blank null space here where you can highlight like this without drag and dropping any folders into another folder or file. Drag and drop all of these into your GTA 5 main directory, just like that, making sure no folder is highlighted. And there you guys go. And next thing on your list is going to be installing this mod right here, which is going to be script hook V. What you guys are going to want to do is I'm going to rearrange that for the links down in the description below. What you guys are going to want to do is hit download and then simply just open this on up, go into the bin file right here, go into it, and you should be able to see here you have a native trainer, script hook V.DLL, and a dinput 8.DLL. So to all do this, all you guys are going to want to do is the exact same way is drag and drop these into your game. But first of all, control and left click on native trainer. We do not need that as we're installing a much better trainer and just drag and drop that into your GTA 5. That's going to be the base for all of your plugins and scripts. Hints why, hints why it is called Script Hook V because there's an easier way for developers to basically mod GTA 5. And then next on our list is going to be ELS, which is an emergency lighting system. Agree and download and make sure you're installing the latest version as always. Click here and it'll speed up the download a little bit more quickly. Or you could just make an account and it'll start downloading it more or less instantly. Open up the ELS file. This is basically going to be an ELS configurations file for vehicles. So if you guys go into the vehicles tab on the LSPFR website and go to vehicle models, you should be able to see here that you'll have a in brackets ELS and then in brackets to the 2019 Josh Charger. If they don't have it, you should be able to see right at the bottom here in green writing if it's ELS compatible. So pretty much most cars nowadays are ELS compatible and it is a better alternative instead of using normal GTA 5 signs which is non-ELS. So that is basically what it is and I have got a video on how to install them separately so I will link that video down in the description below or I'll put an information card in the top right hand corner if it let YouTube lets me do it this time. But what you guys are going to want to do is simply grab this download file right here Go to installation files and Grand Theft Auto, just like all the other plugins and mods. Just drag and drop this to your GTA 5 folder, making sure that it's not in any mods. I'll just give it a quick refresh in the top right hand corner here, so everything is in order that it is meant to be. And then, second to last on our list, because there is something I forgot to put in automatically, but I'll just search it up and grab it for you guys. And that will be in the download link in the description below. But go to the next download link in the description below, this is going to be a menu. PC single player trainer mods. This is going to be the trainer I was talking about earlier that we're replacing the script hook V native trainer with. So if you guys don't know, if you guys have ever seen maybe mod menus in GTA 5 online, that's a very interesting photo. It's kind of like that. It is kind of like that. It's kind of like a mod menu for your GTA 5 story mode. So you can co completely customize it. You can do like animations through it. You can spawn in props through it. You can build buildings through it. There's so many cool things you can guys you guys can do with it. And if you do want help with it, you can join my Discord server down in the description below. And I will not be helping anybody in the comment section. Maybe if it's a short fix, I will reply back to your comment. But I will not unfortunately be helping anyone in the comment section as it is really difficult to get back all of you guys. As more and more people comment and I grow day by day, it's really difficult to respond to all these comments. I've been getting absolutely flooded with them. So please do not ask for help in the comment section. No matter if you beg, I will not treat you differently to anyone else. Just join my Discord server if you do want help. If unfortunately if you can't join my Discord server, then I recommend going on maybe to the LSPDFR forums and checking it out from there. Cause it is impossible for me to get through all the comments and reply to all of you guys without wasting a whole day. So what you guys are going to want to do is literally just click download. 
just like we have with all the other ones. Hit download. It's going to bring you to a github.com website. Instead of downloading it right off the GTA 5 mods website, click the little first one at the top here, and that's going to bring you another download file. Lots of download files. Open it on up. You should be able to see here you have a menu stuff and ASI. Unlike the other ones, it does not. You do not have to drag and drop all of these. The only ones you need to drag and drop is this folder right here and this file right here. So to do that is simply just grab them both. You can either control left click or highlight them all and control left click these. Whatever you want to do and just drag and drop them into your game. Now that last thing that I forgot, click the final download link down in the description below and that's going to be Rage Plugin Hook. You guys won't have to search it up. I will leave it down in the description below. Do not worry about that one. And then all you guys are going to want to do is click download now, choose Grand Theft Auto V Legacy, and make sure you're installing the latest version. And do not worry, guys, if you subscribe to my channel right now, turn notifications on. As soon as LSPDFR GTA 5 updates, I will always release a GTA 5 tutorial on how to update your LSPDFR. So if you just subscribe right now, turn notification bells on, you'll be set for the rest of your LSPDFR career because you will never be in the dark on how to update GTA 5 and get it working again after a major GTA 5 update. Even small GTA 5 updates can mess up your game now, so do make sure you smash that subscription button if you haven't already and turn those notification bells on so you are never late to a video and so you always have mod support on your LSPDFR GTA 5 and maybe just GTA 5 mods in general. But what you guys are going to want to do is open up the last and final download of the day and you'll see you see here you have a bunch of different files and folders and literally just as we did with all the other files and folders and plugins highlight all of these but we are going to need to deselect licenses and SDK if you accidentally drag and drop these at some point do not worry it's not going to mess up your game or anything like that but basically it's just a lot easier and maybe sometimes the game might try and read the folders but other than that it will not mess up your game but it is recommended and advised that you guys do not drag and drop those into your game and you can just control and left click SDK and licenses and get them unselected and then just simply drag and drop them into your game like that hit replace the files in the destination give it a little refresh and now I'm going to show you guys how to hop into your game so to hop into your games what you guys are going to want to do is just double click on this rage plugin hook.exe what that will do if it doesn't do it what you guys are going to need to do is turn off your virus and threat protection real-time scanning do not I repeat do not turn off your virus and threat protection firewall if you turn that guys, if you turn that off guys, that is going to leave your com computer, oh my god, English is not my strong point today. That is going to leave your guys' computer very, very vulnerable. But if you turn off your virus and threat protection real-time scanning, that will only stop it from reading files that is open. And if you already have those files on your, D on your GTA or your desktop, then there's nothing to worry about. But as soon as you finish playing GTA 5, turn it back on. But other than that, your PC will not be vulnerable turning that off. Do not worry, but do not turn off your firewall. And if you do turn off your firewall and you do get a virus, I am not responsible for anything that happens with your PC because that is not my fault and I did warn you guys. But what you guys are going to want to do is hit accept. That's going to make a GTA 5 backup and copy. And then click yes to make the copy. That will create your backup. So if GTA 5 does update... Don't worry, I will go into more detail when GTA 5 actually does update on how to revert back to the original files that are compatible with your GTA 5 Rage Plugin Hook version. So, once the backup version has been created, it might take a little while, it might not. Usually doesn't take that long, but if it does take a little while, don't worry. It's pretty much just creating a backup of the whole main frame backups and files and everything that you need so GTA 5 will run on a older version so you can run with all your plugins and scripts that haven't yet been updated but as you guys can see there it is all done and just wait a couple of seconds or whatever and it should then open up a secondary rage plugin hook menu just like that and what you guys are going to want to do just to do this is literally just change this plugin timeout threshold to 60,000 go to plugins and go to load these plugins on startup that's going to be your LSPD first response Click on load all plugins and then all you guys got to do to go into a game is just click save and launch then hit OK. And you guys will not have to go through that every single time from now on 
All you guys will need to do is just double click it and it'll boot right into your game just like it is now. But other than that, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. If you guys did find this video useful, please be sure to smash that like button. And please be sure to comment down below how it helped you. Please be sure to comment down below any tips as well. Unfortunately, I do not have enough time to be able to hop in game and show you guys how it works. But what I will do is if you hop in my Discord server, I'll put a list of all the keys and main keys you need to play LSPFR on controller and on your keyboard so you guys are not left in the dark so all you guys got to do is join my discord server down in the description below but please subscribe smash that subscription button if it is red if it's great absolutely love you you're a legend thank you very much for subscribing and other than that thank you guys so, so much for watching if you guys are interested in supporting my channel you can smash that little join blue button that is a basically a kind of monthly subscription where you get early access to all of my videos and you also get direct support from my dms and on my discord server so, on that, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Cheers, and goodbye.